Thank you. And can we just sing a happy birthday to Jessica? Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you.
Spirit. Yes, Father. <laughs> so remember that. Whenever he asks you to eat, you say, yes, Father. Okay. In closing, Father, I know that your mother is in heaven, and I know that she's looking down on us today. I also know that she would be very proud of you. Since she is not here, I get to say in her honor, my son, I am so very proud of you. I am proud of who you are and what you have accomplished. May God continue to bless you and guide you. On behalf of your USA mom, I, I adopted him in 19, I mean in 2014, just before his mom passed, because she was really sick. I am his USA mom, so I get to say this. On behalf of the ladies and guys from St. Vincent de Paul and your USA mom, we love you. I said in the fall of 2013. And as it would happen in January 2014, someone mentioned that St. Catherine was celebrating its 50th anniversary that year. We scrambled. We had no idea, no preparations, just it was plopped on our lap. It was given to Father Resty as a parochial vicar and he organized us, and as he mentioned in his uh, uh, comments this afternoon, our, we met every Monday, it was fast conversation, laughter, we ate, of course. We spent about two hours eating and one hour meeting. But the, he did a beautiful job in leading to us to six months of different celebrations, all related to the Eucharist. The founding people, the founding members of the parish, uh, the, those who are been ordained for the parish, the, the priests who have served in the parish. We had special masses all the way to the October, which is the Feast of St. Catherine of Siena. I wanted to say that during this time, our motto was that the parish community of St. Catherine of Siena 
is a grateful, joyful, and hopeful community. Father really made those three words blossom, that we understood that indeed St. Catharines is a grateful community, especially grateful for Father Vesti for his leadership because he became the parochial administrator in June and we had had Father Jess for a long time so it was quite of a change for us but immediately we loved him. So we were very grateful that he stepped up, kept us moving, expanded some of the things that we were doing and we are joyful because our, our Eucharistic celebrations have been filled with joy. And his brother priest, Father Jerome, also an MSP, was, came to our parish. And the two of them worked in tandem. And then we are a hopeful community. We hope that Father Resty, who became ill at the end in uh, September, seriously ill, when he went home for his mother's funeral, and we lost him. And we missed him. But we're so glad to have him back. And I'm, I'm not jealous that you have him, because we have a wonderful priest, but I'm so glad he's within shouting distance that we can have him come down and make some adobo for us. <laughs> and Father, we send you our love, our respect, our appreciation, and for all those people you've touched during the 25 years, we're here tonight to say to you, God bless you and thank you. That was just a wonderful thing to say. Father, are you? Okay. Woo. Father, I have nothing else to say, but if you do, please, this is the time to thank everyone if you want to have that opportunity. But of course, we all want to hear from you as well. So, Ladies and gentlemen, our celebrant, Father Resty. Words cannot describe the gratitude, the gratefulness and joy um, in my heart for your presence today for coming over and honoring this 25th. I know that the center of our celebration, the main focus, is to thank God for His goodness to us. God is good, and He is good all the time. We clap our hands for the Lord. I have heard people giving there are 10 important learnings in life. Please allow me to give my own version of my 10 learnings for, having, for being a priest for the past 25 years. Number 10, learning from life. An author by the name of Robert Fulgham once claimed that all we really need to know about how to live and what to do and how to be, we learn in kindergarten. You heard that, right? Robert Fulgham. I do not believe that we have learned and stopped learning already during the initial years of our schooling. We learn and continue to learn best from a bigger and wider school, and it is the school called life. Learning number nine, learning from the cross. I have learned that the best way to learn from the school of life is to learn from the cross that it brings. The best way to learn from the cross is to carry it. We cannot go on and on in our lives escaping or ignoring the challenges that life brings. To run away from the cross is to lose that opportunity to learn as well as to grow as person and as Christians. Learning and dealing with temptations, and that is number... Oh, you're not listening. Eight. Eight. Life begins at 40, but I believe 
the fun begins earlier than that. And in having fun and not commit sin, one has to remember one important secret in staying in the priesthood amidst the many temptations. This is the secret in dealing with temptations. Don't entertain them. Let them entertain you. And in case just run away, you want to run away from it, try not to leave a forwarding address. <laughs> Number seven, learning from friends. Friends come and go. As I have read somewhere, friends come from a reason, season, or a lifetime. I am fortunate enough to have friends who are a consistent part of my life throughout all its ups and downs. Thank you for all my friends who stayed with me through the years. If life is a garden, is a garden, friends are the flowers. Thank you for being such beautiful flowers in the garden of my life. God has been so good and wise. He did not put a price tags for friendship. Otherwise, if he did, I will not and will never be able to afford you. You are priceless. Learning from people. People can be a source of some challenges, but they are the very source of my deep joys as well. Thanks to my family, I know they know that I hold them very dear in my heart. Thanks for my friends, special uh, clergy or friends. God knows I am grateful to the precious gift of the friendship of priests. Thanks to all people I have met and encountered in my ministry throughout the 25 years. Life is more beautiful because of you. Five, learning from being merciful. This is the one thing that I need to grow more in my life, that all of us need to grow. The language of mercy is the most effective language. Blind can see it. Deaf can hear it, mute can speak about it, and even the heartless can be touched by it. It is the language of God, the one true language that priesthood should have. It is not enough to preach, it is more important to love. In the end, people may remember the abilities of a priest in their minds, but they will surely keep the warm memories of his kindness close to their hearts. Skills can amaze, but it's only and always kindness that can inspire. And what a beautiful reminder to not just be good, but be kind or merciful as well. Number four, learning from being grateful all the time. I'm celebrating this event because I'm a priest. As a priest, I should always be grateful for the precious gift of priesthood. Every moment must be a moment of thanking the Lord for the grace of being a priest. Uh, number three, learning from being humble. I knew myself well enough to know that it is not enough and at times even my best are not good enough. Mistakes, whether intentionally or not, have, made, have been made. Lessons, whether good or bitter, have been learned the hard way. Hopefully, and with all humility, wisdom has been gained. My sincere apologies for my uh, mistakes in the past. Please pray that I'll be a humble servant of the Lord. Second, uh, second to the last, learning from praying. God is a joker, but there are times he becomes a serious joker. Sometimes his jokes are difficult and at times even hurting. And when it becomes so, one must hold on and hold on with prayer. When times are rough, one must remember to do two things. The first one is to pray and the second one is to pray harder. The one is important, the second is necessary. And the last one, first, this is my most important learning in life. Oh, 
All is grace. All is grace. All is a gift from the Lord. Without the Lord, I am nothing and I can be nothing. Things may have been difficult, but they were not impossible. They become impossible, they become possible because of the grace of the Lord, because of the love of Him. Indeed, the Lord is good, and He is good all the time. And for all that has been, Lord, thank you. And for all that will be, yes, Lord. Amen. I will not anymore repeat uh, the words of gratitude that I have said during the, the Mass, but I just would like to tell you that from the bottom of my heart is my profound gratitude to all of you. That uh, please know that in my heart I am very, very grateful for all that you have done. Uh, so that uh, this occasion will be meaningful and worth remembering. Allow me to assure you that I will remember you in my uh, prayers. Um, I, I remember Sandra Gomez. The, there she is. Thank you so much. She's, she's the chef of the full of work. And she was telling me, Father, you don't do anything. You just pray for me you know, and for us. And even before cooking, uh, she asked that I pray uh, over her and her group. And that is why the food you have eaten is a holy food. <laughs> I thank you so much, Sandra Thomas. Of course, uh, how can I not mention the leadership that has been shown by many people, lay leaders here. Uh, the steering committee was uh, headed by Edith Trematic. There she is. And Co-chaired by no less than Norma Villacampa. There she is. And the different members of the uh, steering committee. And it's in the paper. I don't have the paper now. Uh, right. Um, da -da -da -da. By uh, Rico and Marta Smilski. I love you so much. Where's Dolly? Where's Dolly? She got a uh, New Year's resolution that will not speak anymore. That's why it's not <laughs> Set up, Ron, Ricard, Nigel Columbus, Postonia Maintenance, Couple for Christ, numbers. The bring up, uh, of course, Couples for Christ, uh, Nigel Columbus, members and parishioners. Yay! <laughs> that correlation, Josephine, Faith Formation, Okay, Mario again, Marta's Ministry, St. Joseph Group, and the uh, Students Plural Ministry, of course, for uh, uh, Ruth Gertie, for the Franks. Thank you so much. <laughs> Program, Lorna Villacampa, again, and welcome, and her welcome committee. Liturgy, of course, uh, always, de always dependable. Pat Chavez and her members. Thank you, uh, thank you. Thank you. Invitation Committee, Melissa Rose, the office staff, Notre Dame, school rep, Susan Fury, and of course the principal is here. <laughs> I should mention that the Fury couple gave a big donation for the food that we have. Thank you so much, Susan. It's very well time. <laughs> but it will take time. Souvenirs, Becky, Dorothy, Ruth, Teresa Hartman, Ernie Nazareno. Woo, thank you. And all the kids who participate in Glory Ministry, thank you so much. Of course, the kids choir headed by Barbara and Noemi. 
I love you kids, where are you? You are just still there. Beautiful kids! Thank you all of you who came over, those who donated food, thank you so much. But uh, my mother is represented by her sister from LA. Um, they are 12 in the family, the surviving ones, three, and she is my Akita. I got my professor in college. Uh, I, I'm proud to have straight A's in college. She would always give me.